Hello, Eagle Creek. Um, instead of just sending out that uh, annual reminder on pace of play and our goals here at Eagle Creek, we thought we'd actually take you out on the golf course and uh, show you some scenarios and some situations that we see on a daily basis that uh, contribute to some slower play um, during the course of a season. Um, hopefully a lot of these things after you watch the video you're already practicing um, in your uh, daily rounds here. If you're not, um, hopefully you're willing to give a few a try next time you're out here and uh, see how many minutes you can shave off your round. One of the things we notice uh, quite often here at Eagle Creek is is our habits in the in the golf cart and a lot of times if there's two people in a cart they're gonna pull up to the person's shot let them get out and hit it and sit there with the cart and watch um, rather than take that time we want to go ahead and again you can see John's hit his shot on the right side of the fairway Johnny's dropped him off with his club the sand bottle and now Johnny's heading over to his shot on the left side of the fairway so now we're over here at Johnny's shot into number one you can see he's gonna Hopefully he had a good shot with the pressure on. After he hits his shot, he's going to go ahead and get some divot mix to fill up that manhole cover he just took out of the ground there. And once he fills that sand, fills that divot, he's going to go ahead and hold on to his golf club rather than take the time to put it in his golf bag and try to find out what slot it goes into. He's just going to hold on to it until he gets up to the putting green and then go ahead and put it away. All right, we have reached the green here. You can see John's getting ready to roll his birdie putt. And you can see in the background, Johnny's preparing for his putt. Even though he's inside of John, he's going to be putting second. He's going to get everything ready, line up his ball, make sure that he's ready to go. After John's putt goes in, he's ready to go. So again, it's just going to help speed up a little bit here rather than wait around and wait until John's done putting. Johnny's got his putt lined up and ready to go. So now that the two young lads have finished number one, again you notice they're going to hop in the cart with their putters in their hands, not taking the time to put them away. And something else that Johnny didn't do is he didn't take time to write down their scores that they had on number one. They're going to wait until they get over to number two, tee box there, he's writing down the score, and then you go ahead and put your putter away. Again, it doesn't seem like much, but all these little things added together get us to those four and a half hour days at Eagle Creek, which we're trying to avoid. So if we can all try to implement a few of these, we think we can uh, definitely improve our pace of play. Thanks.